Welcome to the episode of Locked In. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get the Axis Eagle Mullet build of bike gear range for your gravel bike, cross bike, adventure bike, or touring bike, all for a budget that is under the price of just the Access Eagle rear derailleur. So if you're interested in seeing that, please stay tuned. In this video, I'm gonna be going over the price that I put together for a few different options from budget to baller, so you can understand how easy it is to convert your bike for as little as 500 bucks and all the way up to $706, which is all still cheaper than a Access Eagle rear derailleur by itself. So before I get started, I wanna give this quick side note that all the prices mentioned in this video are all based on current pricing that I've seen online. I did kinda of do an average basically for all of them depending on what site I looked at and depending on what deals. Keeping in mind there are some components here that you could definitely find used and I'll be mentioning which ones I would suggest. So the prices that I'm giving you actually could be substantially less. But first, let's bust into your shifters. Now, you do have to decide going forward if you wanna go hydraulic or mechanical. Obviously the pluses for hydraulic are the braking power and efficiency of them, but mechanical is a lot easier to maintain and set up. And surprisingly, when I looked into this, I'm basing all these prices on SRAM Apex shifters. I've ridden all their different varieties of shifters and honestly for the money, especially for a gravel bike that you may or may not eventually crash or hit the ground or scuff or get dirty, I recommend to save the money and do that for the main drivetrain components. So on average, I've seen hydraulic shifters around the $330 mark. That's the pricing we're going forward when I do all my totals. Now for mechanical, you can get these all the way down to about $130. So if you don't have a brake setup already, what I would recommend doing or upgrading if you even have calipers of your own is getting the Huin R1 flat mount or post mount calipers depending on what your frame needs. Those are gonna sit on eBay all day long for about $169. That will also include your adapters, rotors, and hardware that you need. And then a set of compressionless housing, which they recommend for those brakes, that's gonna push your total to about 335 bucks. So between the two setups, it really depends on what you wanna do. Again, these are all prices that I found currently. Then we go into the rear derailleur, which is gonna be about 75 bucks. You can not obviously find these used. Depending on what setup you eventually go with, you're gonna to wanna to stick with the long cage version, just in case, depending on what end result you're gonna go with once I get to the later part of the video. So for your basic drivetrain SRAM components that you probably can find used, if you go new, you're gonna be sitting around $404 or so. Again, depending on if you find used components, you could bring that price significantly lower. So let's move forward. Next are your two basically mullet options. Now there is the cheapest setup, which is gonna be the Wolf Tooth Road Link. Now this setup, isn't recommended from Wolf Tooth, so I've tried it personally and I've had mixed success with it. The other option that is more expensive but does shift better, in my opinion, is gonna be the Garbara cage and jockey wheel upgrade. And that's what I did for my personal build, but again, I put hundreds of miles on the road link setup and I had pretty good results with it. It was a little more finicky to set up, but I will be going in more into detail about the Garbara cage versus the road link in a future video, so make sure to turn notifications on. So your road link is gonna run you about 25 bucks and the Garbrook cage itself is 65, and it's 132 total if you do the jockey wheel upgrade. They aren't necessary, you can use the stock jockey wheels, I think it look kind of strange, and the efficiency that you do get running bigger pulleys, and the look is, in my opinion, worth it in the long run. Lastly, your cassette option that really gives you even more range, even though you're losing one gear, is the Zito 9 to 50 11 speed cassette. As we all know, Axis Eagle is 12 speed, so like I said, you're losing one gear, but 9 to 50 is actually more range than the 1050 Eagle cassette that you get. Zito does make a basic option in this cassette that floats around 60 to 70 bucks. And they do make a higher end version, which is the one that I have on my wheel set that is significantly lighter. It does look cooler in my opinion as well. And that's gonna float around 170 bucks. So let's break into doing all the math so you don't have to bust out your calculator. So the most budget setup, which is gonna include your SRAM shifters of either choice, as we said, are basically the same price between mechanical and hydraulic, with the road link rear and the budget Zito cassette, that is gonna run you $489. Again, depending on the pricing you find for Apex shifters and rear derailleur, that may or may not be lower. Then we move up one step where you get the still budget cassette, but you run the Garbrook cage, again, with either mechanical or hydraulic shifters, and you're sitting right at $596. And lastly, if you're gonna do the full upgrade with the nicer Zito rear cassette, you're sitting at $706. Now this is not including tax or shipping on any of these because depending on where you live or where you're sourcing parts, that may or may not be an issue. So keep in mind, these are just the hard dollars on the averages that I found for all the prices going forward. And to reiterate, the shifters and derailleur are really, in my opinion, the only thing you're probably gonna find secondhand. I highly doubt you're gonna find someone who has the Zito cassette secondhand. You might be able to find an 11 speed 10 to 50 cassette 
But that's probably about it. So I'm going to link below for the Garbarook cage, the Wolftooth Road link, as well as the cassette, which you can choose either option in, in the links below. So I hope you guys like this video and the cost breakdown and how you can actually mix and match and possibly upgrade slowly over time. So if you have a mullet bike build of your own, link me to a picture or of your Instagram in the comments below. And so I hope you like this video. Please make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so you can see all the weekly cycling content that I produce for this channel, as well as you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Links are on the description below. And thanks for watching another episode of Locked In. Let's get locked in today. Like